can always tell you, a good dancer with a self-awareness, with high, higher uh, professional standard, always presented themselves. Then in classroom and in rehearsal, you have to present yourself professionally and cleanly, clean. That is aesthetic issue. So all those good quality, the good professional behavior and habits in school, you should carry that into your professional life in company. I'm talking specifically about, in this particular case, is your aesthetic look. Everything the school expected out of you, let's say your hair. Yeah, everybody right now have perfect hair already for class. That still is expected in a company life, right? So you should not look a mess, not ready. If you see other company members are like that, don't follow that. You learned good things from them. You don't learn the habits that professional dancers have. Perhaps they are in that environment for 10 years now. Can always tell you a good dancer with a self-awareness, with high, higher uh, professional standard, always presented themselves with, with a clean uh, approach, not just for the steps, but themselves, the hair, their dress, how they address other people, the way they look. I believe that always go matched. So make sure your uniform are clean and they are put together nicely. I still expect the company would appreciate that when you take class, you, have, you can have a warm up on, but as a young dancer, the first year in class, the company would expect and look forward to you conduct yourself very professionally, which would mean is less junk as possible. You should never take class with the booty, the ones you have. That's only for warm up. If the company or the company member do it, you don't do it because you just got there. You should never do bat matong with this kind of things. No, never. Right? Whatever your teacher expects you in school, how to take that bar. That's how you could take that bar in the company. Even more so, even more with more precision, more discipline. Just because your teacher is not there to remind you, so you have to be remind yourself, self-discipline, self-awareness. That's gonna get you far. Don't go into the company the second day just just try to creating habits that are not going to be helpful, are not going to be positive for you.